Hey, hope you guys are doing well. Actors from Solo Marketer here. And in this video, I want to show you uh, the correct way to do affiliate marketing by showing you how to build a uh, an affiliate funnel in System.io. So the classic way a lot of people do affiliate marketing is, uh, let's say you do content like this, like YouTube videos or, or Instagram posts or whatever, and they just send people to the affiliate page, right? To their affiliate link, just straight up. And 99% um, of those people will not buy. They'll just disappear, right? Either they don't trust you or they, it's not the right moment, right? So it's kind of just a lot of people fall through the cracks. But as you can see here, the correct way, which is really a really simple funnel uh, to execute. And actually, I'm going to give you a template. We're going to work from a template uh, for this one because that will just, you don't need to reinvent the wheel. You can just take someone else's uh, free funnel template and you can just build from there, right? Based on the product you're selling. But you want to collect the lead first on the landing page. And then once they give you their name and email on the bridge page or a thank you page, whatever you want to call it, once they give you their information, then you can promote the product, right? And in that case, uh, why you do that? It's because you can follow up with these people, right? Most people will not buy. A vast majority of people will not buy that product, but you can still continue sending different types of promotional emails over the years on, you know, until they unsubscribe. You can send hundreds and thousands of emails over years uh, promoting not only this product, but different types of products, right? So as opposed to getting this one opportunity, sending them to this one page and not collecting their information and then disappearing forever, you have this other way, which is here on the screen, where you collect their information first and then you know how to reach out to them with the same offer from different angles or just completely, not completely different offers, but like different offers that are still kind of relevant to the problems uh, that they want to solve like in, in, in the same niche. So yeah, once you sign up for the free affiliate funnel template at the end of the video below in the description, there's going to be like a sign up. You will receive an email that will have links in it, right? You will have the, the funnel template, you will have the welcome email template, and you'll have the explainer video like this one. So here's how we do it. We click on each one, right? You click on it and they get added to your account to your, this is a free account, as you can see, like a dummy account, just to prove to you that you can do it on a free account. You don't even need a paid one. And you just click on both and they get automatically added to your account. Uh, but again, if you have a free one, even if you had to pay one, uh, there's limitations, right? There's a certain amount of funnels and campaigns you can do. So keep that in mind, right? If it doesn't get added, that's probably because you've reached the limit. For a free account, I think it was three funnels and one campaign. So just keep that in mind. But I think there's going to be a notification popping up that you have reached the limit and you know you need to delete one of the old funnels to claim this one. But yeah, what the funnel will look like, this is just an example one. You will be able to create your own, right? Based on this one. But this will be the, the sign up page. And this will be the thank you page, right? This is just an example. If it's an, I don't even know if they do the training anymore. This is for the 15 day challenge by, uh, by legendary marketer, right? Just as an example. And again, instead of sending them straight to the sales page, which I don't know if it even works, it might still work. Yeah. Right. They have a sales page, right? With the video and everything. This is like a new one. Actually, I haven't seen this. This is a new product. Instead of sending them straight to the offer first, I collect their information you know, watch the video, the video that's on a sales page, and then I send them to the actual video. So that's that's pretty much it. And uh, yeah, now that we have claimed it, so the first thing we want to do, we want to go to the to the funnel. It's going to be under funnels, right? We claimed it here, affiliate funnel one. So we have those two pages. And the first thing we want to do is obviously we can go to settings. <clears throat> if you have a different domain, a custom domain, highly recommended. Some social media sites, they don't like these default ones. So get a custom one. It's a few dollars a month. I think mine costs like two or three dollars a month. Just a basic domain, right? It's, it's nothing too expensive. And also it has your own branding, right? It doesn't look like, you know, a lot of people use these free ones. They, they don't look that good. They just, you need your own brand. But yeah, besides that, pick it. Uh, the currency doesn't matter. You're not going to be collecting money on system.io in this case. And also here, um, let's do, I don't know. Legendary, right? Since this is legendary marketer, even though I'm not promoting it, uh, but still, just make the link cleaner. Don't don't keep this thing. This doesn't look good. This looks spammy, right? So let's do legendary. Do that. Uh, also, if you want to do multiple words, do a hyphen marketer, right? Uh, don't do caps. If you do caps, it's going to say no. So don't do caps. That's a common mistake. Also, if you do just a space. That also, that's not going to work for links. You need like a hyphen or like a, a, a 
whatever you call this thing, I don't remember. But yeah, just use one of those and you'll be fine. Don't do all caps. System.io doesn't like it. All right, so let's go in and edit the first page. I'm just going to show you quickly. Essentially, you do all, all this copy and everything. <clears throat> I'm going to keep it really, really, really super simple. And the incentive, the lead collection method, right? You have to provide people with something. It's good to uh, promote products uh, that have sales pages with a video on it. There's something you can learn, right? Like in this in this case, the legendary marketer one, if you go to their, their main flagship product, if you go to their sales page, their video is actually like it, it, there's some value to it. It teaches you stuff, right? So you can promote that as a lead magnet. And at the end of that video, and they actually sell the thing that's on the sales page. So you don't even need to create a, a lead magnet for it. This is like the simple method to do it. But first, collect the email. So in this page, obviously, this all depends on the product you're selling. But in this case, right, I just say, hey, you know, master the extraordinary formula to make your first thousand dollars online, right? Or to learn how to, how to, create your online business in five days or less, even if you have zero experience and no tech skills, like just a benefit driven kind of like a headline, right? Just with specific, you're going to fix this problem by, by doing this, right? And this is where you uh, maybe handle object objections, like, right? Let's uh, learn how to start a business in five days or less, even if you don't have any major tech skills or money or experience or anything, right? You can kind of a lot of people have these issues, right? They don't have the money, they don't have the experience, they don't know how to write copy, all this stuff, right? So you can kind of address these concerns here in the subheadline. Uh, as for this case, it is a button. If you click on it and the button shows a pop-up. So what does that mean? Where's the form, right? It's under the button and that shows pop-up number one. So where's the pop-up? Click on over here, pop-ups, eye icon. This is the pop-up number one. And this is where the form is, just to keep it really clean, right? And this is where the form is. And as long as this button says submit form to the next step, you're going to be all good. That just means that <clears throat> that's a form that they submit and their information gets collected. So that this should always be submit form if you're collecting leads. Like in this case, uh, if you want to do this form just straight up on the page, uh, what you can do then is you can, uh, let's move this. You can click on the button. You can say submit form right? Like the one in the pop-up, but instead of doing a pop-up, we're going to do the form here. And then we're going to add a couple elements, which is form input. It's not going to look pretty, but I'm just going to show you the functionality. Click on it. We're going to collect first name and let's duplicate it. Click on it. And we're going to collect, uh, crap email. Where's email? There we go. Right. It's the same thing. You can do a pop-up or you can do this, or you can do both, right? You can do this. And this button can still be the pop-up. So there's two ways of doing this. Uh, but yeah, when you click on the button, you can see what's what's happening, where it's actually taking them. Okay, and if you click on, like, let's say the, the elements, this is the section, this is the row, and this is the element within the row, right? Those are the three types of segments you can have. I don't know what to call them, but if you click on it, there's all kinds of customization here. This stuff, you kind of tweak on your own time there's a lot of stuff like you know padding right you can mess with that top spacing bottom that's that's kind of you know whatever you like maybe this these things are too close so let's click on the row let's do padding uh, maybe i want to do this right i want to give it more space here padding do that right let's make it even 35 35 so it's kind of more inside there's a little bit more space around it that's kind of just you know tweak it to your own liking obviously the colors if you click on a button you can you can change the color of the button let's do this and then let's do i don't know this is not pretty but uh, i would do these colors on this page similar to the colors on the uh, the actual affiliate product page right just so there's congruency i don't want this page to be all pink and then, you know, they do a couple clicks and they land on the actual affiliate product page. And it's like more, I don't know, like darker colors or dark blue and black and all that stuff. So there needs to be, if this is pink or rather if the affiliate page is pink, then this landing page should also be at least close to pink, right? So just so there's people don't feel like they're like, they started one thing and then something completely, you know, different shows up in different colors. They're like, is this still the thing I was looking for? Right? Because the colors are so different. Again, why watch the video? Give them four reasons. That's all in the video. 
you know, you learn this, you learn that. This is the, the thing, right? That there's, it's going to be in there. Um, and yeah, and these images are just Canva or you can put in whatever. You can just also do like a bulleted list. If you don't want to do the images and just list them out like this, right? So let's do that. Uh, obviously change the color of this button as well. If this one is purple, do this one purple, but make sure the buttons stand out. Don't do a gray button if there's a gray background. Oh, and also last thing, yeah, click on the section. You can do a background color, right? Or you can do a background image. The background color now doesn't change because there's a background image, believe it or not, this gray color, that's an actual image. So you can click on it, you can upload it from your computer, or maybe you have uploaded it before, then it's gonna be under your images. And that's essentially, you can go look up online, I don't know, royalty free uh, website backgrounds, right? And there's gonna be a list of just like free ones that you can use, this is one of them. Just as an example, it was just a gray, slightly white and gray background that I just used for this one. Same thing with this darker one. See, there's like a little little gradient, kind of a little change from black to gray. <clears throat> so you can find those online. Or you can just, you know, delete this thing, delete the background, right? And then you can just do a single color. Not pretty at all, but you can do it this way. If the sales page looks something like this, then make your page look something like this. Let's save it. Obviously you can preview it, right? This is the preview, not great. So kind of go back, change it. If you don't like the spacing or maybe there's some grammar uh, issues or whatever, go back and change it. Once you're done, I mean, keep saving it throughout the process, but final save changes, let's exit. And this is gonna be the bridge to the affiliate offer. Let's uh, <clears throat> do the same thing. Legendary bridge, let's do something like that. If you click on here, that copies it. We open it in a new page, here's the page. That's how you, you can just click on this link icon and then it gets copied and then you just paste it in. Uh, let's go edit the page. So this is just a, this is the old, from the old sales page. I just took a, a screenshot of the, uh, the thumbnail of the video and I just put it in here and I linked it to that affiliate page as well. If you click on this image, it says open URL and there's the URL, right? To the actual sales page. This is where your affiliate link comes in and the button below, if you click on it, this is where your affiliate link comes in as well. So this page is really simple. Just guide them straight to the video that's on the sales page and then watch the video. And then, you know, under the video, there's going to be the offer. So that's the whole affiliate sales page, as opposed to sending it straight to there, you send them to the landing page, collect their email, and then this will guide them there. It's like an extra step, but it's worth it in the long run. Um, as far as I know, as far as I've read uh, some researches, uh, people that do it this way, as opposed to sending it straight to the affiliate page, they make, I think it was 67, 66, 67% more in, uh, in revenue over the you know span of however many years they're doing it. So, you know, this simple two-step funnel is totally worth it. Uh, an optional step, which we have claimed this one as well. Let's go to campaigns. We have claimed a welcome email. Right. So if we go to emails, campaigns, we have a campaign in here, which is just one email, but you can do a string of 50 emails if you want, like a welcome sequence on a free account. You can do one of these uh, one campaign. So if we click on it. You can have, like I said, you can have a string of emails. We just have the welcome one. So let's click on it. This is the subject line. Welcome to, you know, whatever your company name is, right? Company name. Uh, you put in your company name, obviously here. If you scroll down, first we save it. And then let's just click on email. Yeah, sure. Let's click on it. And here uh, you keep this because this auto populates with their name that they fill out on the, on the first uh, page, right? We asked for their name and their email name because we can make it more personal. We can mention their name here. It auto populates whatever they filled in, in into that form and email. Obviously we asked for it just so we know where to send this email. Uh, yeah, I would like to personally welcome you. You know, my name is this. I'm the founder of that. Uh, thank you so much for signing up for, for the free training, right? And then all these things, square brackets, you just fill them out yourself, whatever the desired outcome is. In this case, it would be something like, you know, start your own business as a complete newbie, teaching you how to uh, use this platform by, you know, I don't know, with this method, whatever, whatever it says in that video and on the sales page, just translate, just put all of that in this email without giving away too much, just kind of just to entice people to, to go and watch the video. 
And here you kind of introduce to yourself as well. But the main goal should be to send them back, right? This is another opportunity. Maybe they clicked on a video and they left, right, on that thank you page or the bridge page. But still, they then they go to their email inbox and they get the email from you, right? You introduce yourself and it's like, hey, watch the video now. You're like, oh, okay, I'll watch it now. Now they, there's like, there's two opportunities now for them to watch this video. You can also do a follow-up email series where you can keep re reintroducing this video, right? And also more opportunities to like join our Facebook group or follow me on Instagram or, you know, subscribe on YouTube and all that stuff. Just fill it all out, change all these things, um, your name, your company name, all that stuff, save changes, exit. And once you have finally done everything, <clears throat> you want to save and test and send it to your own email. Always do this, no matter if this is your first email ever, if you've been doing this for 15 years, you should know better. Always send yourself test emails uh, because oftentimes there's a broken link that didn't get pasted in properly. Uh, it sounds silly, but it happens more often than you would think. Uh, just check the grammar. Obviously, it doesn't need to be perfect, but you know, go, go check if there's any image elements or some other stuff that's not just text. Uh, I usually just check it on mobile check my email on mobile when I send my, myself a test email because it's like a different format, right? So that's kind of an extra opportunity to just see whether everything translates properly. And yeah, once you're satisfied with that, or you can just go back in and keep editing, but once you're satisfied, save and publish. This is where you activate the email. I would keep it at zero, you know, days, minutes, hours, whatever, send it right away. Let's activate it. And uh, yeah, this because it's not connected to my to my email. So that that's why it says that. And you can go that authenticate the domain, your custom domain and in, uh, in the settings up here, which is a recent thing because yeah, I don't think you can use your Gmail anymore for for as a sender email. There's been some essentially that's yeah, it's just a no go at this point since uh, it's been a big thing in 2024, just kind of Yahoo and Google and maybe some other companies. They don't that's that's they don't like that because there's been a lot of people using like free email accounts to just spam or scam or do whatever. So now you need to have like a specific uh, domain, your professional email, but all that costs, you know, like five to seven dollars a month all combined. So it's no biggie. You just need to get one and then go connect it under settings in your system.io account, which can all be done with a free account as well. All right. So the funnel itself is fine, but we're going to click on a squeeze page. And then automation rules, we want to deliver that email. In case you actually promised a freebie on this page, you didn't, maybe you promised a video, right? Like I did, or maybe you actually promised like a guide, right? How to do affiliate marketing. Uh, you can just deliver it here, right? In your welcome email, you can add the link. But yeah, uh, either way, the welcome email is deliver it. So squeeze page, automation rules, add a rule, funnel step form subscribed, which means they filled out the, the, the name and email. And here, edit automation rule, add action, subscribe to campaign, which is that one email campaign, right? Let's click on here, save rule. So now once they sign up, they will receive that email within zero minutes, right? Like we said, uh, sometimes this might be gray. I don't remember when it was gray, when it was green. Sometimes like when you set it up, it's just gray. So make sure to double check this and to activate it, uh, it will have an option enable rule. I think that was the proper wording or activate or whatever. So just make sure this is green, but just to triple check, just to be sure that everything works, go to step configuration, copy this link, paste it in and fill it out with your own name and email and just go check your inbox in a minute, right? See if it got delivered and uh, click all the links and see everything, right? Be the end user. Uh, always test your own stuff. But again, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, Go sign up in the description. It might be a pinned comment as well. Go sign up for the free template, right? Uh, where you put in your name and email, same type of thing. And then I'll just send this to you via email. Um, you will receive this funnel template, the welcome email template, and this video, just in case, just so you don't lose it. It's going to be in your email inbox. You can, you know, rewatch it and uh, kind of see me do it as you go do it yourself, like kind of a side by side thing. So go claim it. Uh, if you have any questions, comment below. Uh, but yeah, if you don't have any questions, then good luck setting up the funnel and hopefully see you in the next video. Bye.